matter what, while you're out in the mountains, there's going to be risk. But there's tricks of terrain that you can use that will enable you to be safer out here. Nothing's foolproof, but in my experience, these have really helped me stay alive. Well, broke one of my main rules, and that's always fighting the smallest guy at the bar. I definitely should have been in the rocks up top. First rule is to climb the slopes with the least consequence. I want to ski the big lines, for sure I do, but I'm going to go up all the small slopes to get there. I fight the smallest guy at the bar, so if anything happens, it's the least amount of consequence. On my way up too, I always try to seek the higher ground. That keeps you safer. Avalanches flow like water. And ideally, if you're on the high ground, you'll be safe from them. And that's a key too, is to always minimize your exposure time and go from safe spot to safe spot. On my way up, I always have an escape plan, regardless of where I am. I know that if something happens, I'm gonna go there, or I'm gonna go there. It's always in the back of my mind. And it's the same when I'm skiing down. I always have an escape plan because things are gonna go wrong. And you gotta have a plan, you gotta know where to go, and you gotta be able to react right away. Yeah, so I always try to ski from the top. And that's because it seems like most avalanches will happen in the first three turns of a feature. And if you ski from the top, at least you're on top of them. You can ski cut, you can stabilize your way down. And that has saved me countless times. And when I'm skiing down, I ski from safe spot to safe spot. I always know where my next safe spot is and I pre-plan it and I ski to it. The shoulder check is super important. Knowing what's happening behind you will keep you alive. If you don't know what's chasing you down, when it catches up to you, it's gonna take you out. So halfway down a line, look back. Make sure it's not following you down. Yeah, these are my tricks of terrain. They're how you move around the mountains. And they're seriously very essential. No matter what the avalanche conditions are, no matter what you think it is like out there, you have to hedge your bets. You have to take as much of the risk out of the situation as you can. And by using these rules, I've managed to stay alive for years. And hopefully they'll keep you alive too.